Okay, so for this video, uh, I'll show only uh, the new features for iteration three. So one main thing is in order to buy products, you need the backend software to op to be open. Otherwise, it cannot answer to any like query to the server or. So let's start with the um, supermarket software. So here I can change the category. I haven't added many items, but it doesn't take much time anyway. So let's add a coffee, a group scarf, and a book to the basket. And let's log in as well. Right. I can. Right, let's put to for this one. Right. Let's check out, and I can see all the prices and the total. All right. So let's open as well the banking software. Otherwise, it won't be able to answer. So it's waiting for a client. And let's log in, but without clicking anything. Actually, I can click here. Yeah. And I can see the last transaction and let's buy let's enter my ID from the cash, uh, from the bank and the sort code in this case this one because it's this current account if I put the saving account it won't be it won't proceed with the transaction so let's confirm the order so first it will tell you it's content in the server so press OK the transaction has been uh, processed and if I reload it will show the new transaction here in the banking software as well as here in the uh, supermarket software and that's the new feature in this program and what wait wait what was that Uh, it's just uh, yeah the decimal there <laughs> anyway um, and the same is for the um, shop owner that can log in I think the password is this one yep and can change the category and add new product depending on the category obviously some of the fields will be disabled based on the type of product and that's the new um, um, the new part of for iteration three. All right. 